All right, welcome to the second session of building a space X clone. In this session, we will start the input form with the boxes. So it looks a little bit more like a content management system. We would add links in Ruby code to the navigation bar. I will put in a fun astronomical fact, and then we do the git commit in the end. All right, so let's get started again. Ground control to major tones. Seven, six, commencing countdown engines on. Three, two, check ignition and may God's love be with you. Alrighty, so let's get started. Open up your terminal and see the into your projects directory. So I will see the into ROR projects slash rocket oopsie, slash rockets core. Okay. Oops. C O R P. There we go. Hit enter. And then I type Adam space dot to open up my text editor. And then I open up a new tab in my terminal. And here I type rail space S to start the server. Go back to the text editor. So what we will do, we will basically copy the styling from the index to the form for the boxes, etc. So open up the form file and the index file. Okay. And here in the index file, copy the first row div tag and paste it in at the top of the form. Go back to the index file, copy the call-md-4, the card and the card topper go to the form and scroll down and paste it in right above the form for the box title. Okay, And then cut the pick one form here and paste it in under the card topper div class. All right, back to the index and copy the closing card topper and the opening card block tags back to the form and paste it in right under the pick one form. Okay, I'm gonna move this up here a little bit. Back to the index file. And then we will copy this closing div tag for the card block, card and call-md-4. Okay, and paste it in right underneath the box info and above the div class action for the submit button. Okay. And go back to the index and copy this bottom closing div tag for the row. And paste it in at the bottom of the form file. Okay. Let's go to the browser. And in the address bar type localhost colon 3000 as usual. Hit enter. Okay. This is our home page click on the new mission to see the form. All right, so that's the start. We clearly have a, some styling to do. Back to the text editor. Okay. And we actually don't need the div tag for the row at the top of the page. It, we're going to surround a row and a call dash 12 for the title and subtitle. And we can actually go to the index and copy the row and the call dash md dash 12 tags. And then we're going to close these two classes underneath here. In the index, go and copy closing for the call dash md dash 12, closing for the row, and then it has an opening row class right after it. Okay, and the closing for the row is will be before the end of the do loop. Okay. Now copy this card dash topper class and we will go and style it a little bit. So go to apps, we would open up a style sheet apps, assets, style sheets, and open up the mission.scss. Okay. And underneath the card title class, um, type dot and paste in the card dash topper. Give it a open up the curly brackets and in here let's give it a background color of 
050505. This is the background color where the image is. And let's put in a height here of 150 pixels. All right, save it. Okay, go to the browse and refresh. Refreshing. All right, so that's a little better. Let's move the box info up above under the subtitle because the box info will have a lot of text in it maybe. So in the form here, cut the box info out and go and paste it in right under the subtitle form. Okay, all right. And between each label and the text field, give it a break tag. So here I'm putting in break tags here. And now when this background in the for the thumbnail is dark, we need to change the font color to a lighter color. So I type comma, style, colon, double quotation, and then color, pound sign. And let's give it a color of E, 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 E. And then we can copy this and we paste it for the other one. Okay. All right, so let's save it and let's put in a break tag between the label for the box title and the text field for the box title. All right, okay, let's go to the browser and refresh. Okay, nothing happened. I guess I forgot to save everything. So let's go back to the text. Yeah, I forgot to save it. Right back to the browser and refresh. There we go. All right. Okay, let's put a space between the box info and the box and then extend uh, title, subtitle and the box info 100%. All right. So here for the text field for the title, type comma, style, colon, double quotation and give it the width of 100%. Okay, and then we copy this and we paste it in after the subtitle and we paste it in under the box info. All right, I think that's good. Okay, let's go to the browse and refresh. All right, and now let's, let's go and put in a little space between the box info and the main box. So in the form, in this row class above the call-md-4, give it a style with the margin dash top of one rem okay and back to the index and let's go and copy the h4 tag title tag and go and paste it in right before here the um, field and then close the h4 and actually i pasted it in the wrong place so cut it out and it needs to be surrounding the class field for the box title. That's where the H4 tag needs to be. And close it underneath here. Go to the browse and refresh. Great, all right? So then the box title has the same font as the real titles do when you see it in the home page. All right. But the submit button disappeared. So I guess I accidentally deleted it. All right. Okay, so after this call-md-4 in the form, um, open up the Ruby syntax with an equal sign, type form.submit, single quotation, and let's call it create mission. And close the Ruby syntax go back to the browse and refresh all right okay it didn't that's not where we want it it actually needs to have a separate row in a separate call dash md dash 12 surrounding it so i go and copy these two div tags here and i paste it in right there and then we need to close a div tag on the call dash md dash 4 so i cut one div tag out in the bottom okay and then I go and copy this to closing row and a closing call dash md dash 12 and paste it in 
okay and actually for the form dot submit afterwards type comma and class and let's give it a class of btn btn dash lg for a large button and the color btn dash warning gives it a little dark yellowish go to the browse and refresh cool all right we need a little space there again so i think we can just copy the this row class the style here for a margin dash top of one rem and we paste it in here for the row okay go to browse and refresh all right i think actually i forgot the closing um angle bracket here for the row class perfect go to browse and refresh there we go all right Okay, so now it's time for a fun as and amazing astronomical fact. So, closest planet to the sun has ice. Closest planet to the sun has ice. Okay, so that's the main title. So we're going to have a subtitle. Astronomers detect ice on Mercury. despite being the closest oops closest and actually despite being the closest to the sun and one of the hottest planets okay hmm? so now box info hidden deep in the craters See, lowercase i there, hidden deep in the craters, permanently in the shade from our sun's rays, near, oops, near ray, sun's rails, rays, and that's, there's no e there, craters, yeah, They're near the pole, or one of the poles, the other pole. Mm -hmm. There are water ice on Mercury. Mm -hmm. And then we have the big title for the box. But let's go. I'm going to choose a picture first. So I have one on Mercury. And that is actually a really cool picture. And let's put the main box title. Let's just say Ice on Mercury. And this is true. They were very surprised. Okay, I forgot an E there on Ice, so let's edit it. There. Put in an E. I C E. Create mission. All right. Let's go back. Okay. Oh. Okay, what happened to these titles here? So this is a little quirk from actually Bootstrap. So go to the missions style sheet and here within the cart topper for the height type min. So we have min dash height. Go to the browser refresh. Refreshing. There we go. So now the titles are back in place. Okay. Let's uh, let's just click on a few links here. So let's click on learn more here. So we will style this show page better in a couple of sessions. Let's click on another one. Great. Okay. All right. So now it's time to put in the links here. So go back to the text editor. And then go to the shared folder and open up the navigation partial. So let's first activate a link for the logo. So right in here before image tag, type link underscore two and then an opening parenthesis. And then you need the closing parenthesis after the 100% and that double quotation mark. 
Actually, we need the path, so go to the terminal and type Rails Routes. So we're going to check the path. Okay, so it doesn't align itself in nice columns, but we can probably see what we need here. So the first is there, is for the root path. And that has a URI of a slash and a controller and an action index. So what we need then is the root underscore path. Don't forget the comma before. Go to the browser and refresh. Oh, oops. So what we need to do, we need to change the A tag before to a div tag. So this is no longer an A tag, it's a div tag. And the same here, close it with a div tag. Go to the browser and refresh. There, okay. So let's put in the other links. I'll just align here. Now go down and within the first li tag for the nav, nav item, delete the active class. Okay. And under this a tag, let's put in a Ruby link tag. So open up the Ruby syntax with an equal sign. Type link underscore two, and then single quotation. And let's put in the link tag text, which will be birdie ten minus one. You have to figure out why I named that that way. And then comma. And let's just have this go to the root path for now and then type in other comma and then this needs to be a class of navlink and then close the ruby syntax comment out this a tag for now with html comments there right okay go to the browser and refresh all right so that, that link works go back and then we can delete this a tag and then copy this ruby syntax link and paste it in over the other two a tags within the respective li tags there we go okay change this link tag or link text to fat birdie and the next one to ancient birdie save it and go to the browse and refresh great all right so this font will be styled later but for now go and comment out the search form with the HTML comments and then copy everything from the beginning of the UL tag to the closing UL tag and paste it in below this will be the right side of the navigation for the links. So here, this will be about us. This would be career. Oops, uh, one R, careers. And this will be gallery. If you remember when I showed you in the first session what we will do, and copy this and paste it below. And this will be shop. save it go to the browse and refresh okay all right it didn't flush to the right back to the text editor and delete this mr auto class back to the browse and refresh there now it's flush to the right perfect let's narrow the window here browse the window and let's just check the mobile format all right you can scroll down a little bit here okay all right so that's about it let's go and do our git commit so in the terminal i clear it then type git status all right do git add space dot and now clear and let's say git commit dash m single quotation and let's just say styled um, 
So we style the form page. Style form input page, that's better. And added links to navigation. I think that kind of sums it up. All right, cool. All right, we're done. I do get status on branch master, nothing to commit. Okay, I see you next time. Feel free to like this video and subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.